Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to the Crimson Sands. I'm very happy to be back here today. We are going to talk about going through all the latest updates that's going to be released by the next developers for the first descendant. It is actually happening right now. We are waiting for the maintenance, but I will share with you the last update, the last announcement made by them just hours ago. And uh, let's go through this together and uh, prepare ourselves prepare ourselves for the new Frena, the Ultimate Frena and all this new content, new boss and the new weapon. So let's do it together. And before you do that, please, please, please subscribe, like and share what you think about us in the comment below. And I'm trying to reach the 250 subscribers and so I can apply to be the <clears throat> so I can apply to be the content creators for the first descendant so please help me to do that I'd be very very grateful so um, yeah you can see that still in my PJ i um, trying to share with you this content as soon as possible so thank you very much for your support and let's let's check it out what's happening right now Welcome back to Crimson Sands. I'm very happy to be back here today with the descendants to share with the latest update. Finally, it's 10th of October. And finally, finally, we are having this new content for the first descendants that we have all been waiting for a long time. Right? Since since the Hayleys, since the Glutonies, right? Um, I think many of us have conquered them, like oh, many of us who are more advanced in this game have conquered them and then we are just running out of excuses to play First Descendant to say, I mean, so, so to speak. And finally we are waiting for this new content and we can't wait for it to be released. And of course, before the new content is released, there's update from that's happening already happening right now while I'm recording this so it is 6 45 a.m. UK time I believe that will be around actually 10 40 10 45 um, Pacific time in the States and we're very grateful for this update to be happening we all know um, at, right now um, people in America you are going through these um, hurricanes and the storm that's one of the worst in the recent years or even on the history so um, we are feeling for you and we are also keeping our eye on, on the news and hoping most of you all of you are not affected and we can still continue our life and continue enjoying the first descendant okay so this maintenance the schedule for i think it is about what uh um how many hours that would be <laughs> um five six seven about seven hours is that right okay anyway to so be from 10 p.m uh, which is happening right now until 1 p.m uk time 6 a.m until 1 p.m uk time yes that's seven hours okay and uh, yeah, hopefully it's, everything is going to um, be on schedule, nothing is going to be affected, of course, because the developer is based in Korea. And um, I think that's one of the few bonuses is in Korea. And so you will not be affected by, by the weather that's happening now in America. Okay, anyway, so what's going to happen? What's going to happen? and we can see that they already released this update 1.1.4 1.1.4 this hot i don't know if we should call it hot fix so it's 1.1.4 update right of course of course one of the most important thing the ultimate frena the ultimate frena that we are all waiting for so of course 
The Ultimate Frena is going to be the updated version of Frena, right? We are expecting for it to look like all the ultimate um we we expect it to look like old all the ultimate descendants just like that <laughs> cover the face unfortunately with still very cool outfit i would say i'm glad it's not bikini it's very nice outfit and it's called it is going to be called nightmare dominator nightmare dominator so that's what it should look like of course we are also hoping that there's going to be some new skins for the Ottoman friends and for other descendants as well. So we can, you know, just really make our own descendant look unique and pretty. Okay. So using the Frenna or Ottoman Frenna will activate Frenna's char character quest. So I think it will be a bit like the bunny quest that's only for Frenna okay so when Frenna's character's quest is fully completed then you will receive the chest attachment old wounds okay so that's the rewards you will get um something different from what you already have and of course we the gamers that's what we live for right to collect all these collectibles so so um, to remove all those red dots, all those unfinished quests. So that'll be the next thing that we want to do with you together to going through this quest. And of course, we already have Frenna because that's one of... We said we were not going to get a Frenna, but because that's one of the... I think one of the mission for this Frenna's vote, the daily challenge we're having right now. So we had Frenna. Uh, we are we, we will think like maybe we'll just try to go through this quest as soon as possible before even before we get the ultimate friend now so we can share the content with you yeah I hope we can make a good guide for you okay so ultimate friend new descendant new quest for friend only okay and of course the ultimate friend skill modules this toxic mixture and the vern the the venom injection okay so toxic th this toxic mixture is going to change her passive skill contagion links okay so instead of instead of after you kill the the enemies then they will become they'll be melt and then the 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 puddles the puddles will um, also create damage for the enemies Instead of that, that's contagion link. Um, instead of that, we are, they are saying, okay, now, now the enemies will gain stacks of these new things called necrosis, necrosis, right? So your firearm attack will increase when you shoot at them. And if an enemy reach mass stacks, your firearm critical rate also increase. So it sounds like it sounds more like for a boss fight, right? When you are fighting the Colossus, because most of the minions, most of these small enemies on the map, should be easily killed by any of her skills, even just by our weapons, right? So. We you need to have your your enemy need to have need to be able to what take on more of her her attack so you can have these higher stacks so you be for feels like it's going to be for end boss for um end boss in the inv invasion in the um, um infiltration operations. Uh, especially the infiltration operation is going to have 400% that we will talk about this later today so 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 that's so so that's this toxic mixture i think most of us will still continue to use these contagion links unless you want to build um you want to try to build your frena for boss but let us know please let us know what you think 
and mm. if you are going to use it on the, your daily operation or you are, how, how do you want to use this mm. toxic module okay and the venom injection so this is um, going to be um, affecting her defense mechanism so when you have this venom injection right this venom injection will consume your resources to recover your shield and increase your skill power modifier but what when, when you are inflicting the corrosion on enemies okay so so when you are dealing damages on the enemies mm. your shield and skill power modifiers will be recovered at the same time mm. and and your enemy will also suffer with reduced toxin resistance so you will create more damage on them so this is one of a very good um this this venom injection that's actually a very good module very useful and it's a module that we should all have that's my personal opinion again let us know what you think compare with your current modules do you feel like you want to use this are you going to farm for it okay and can you share with us where can you farm it <laughs> so, so yeah so <clears throat> this is the two modules that's um created that's going to be released also today for Frenna, okay, and of course, this. How are we going to farm the Frenna? So we will be able to farm the Frenna with these patterns. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. These patterns can no longer be acquired. Okay, um, these patterns are not available anymore instead instead they have this a b variant of patterns of these same patterns okay so that's how you can that's having these patterns a b variant a b variant you will acquire ottoman frenas enhanced cells stabilizers spiral catalyst that's right that's how you will farm them where can we find the blueprint where can we find the blueprints mm. okay we will see. Let, let, let's see if i can if we can find where to find the blueprint for the ottoman frena okay can we just cheat blue print okay this is a blueprint for the ultimate weapon the new weapon the blueprint we can buy from ETA zero okay so they didn't mention where we can farm the blueprint for Ottoman Frenna, which is very not helpful. We will see when once um after the update if it will show us more information in this game. Okay. Okay, so of course we all know there are also going to be two new modules for Haley. One is Super Cooled Q Cooper. Super Cooled Cooper round. So when you are having this module and using your unique weapons so which is your a for the last um skill using the unique when you are using a unique weapon you will reduce your firearm attack and fire rate instead you will increase the weak point damage in return so it is very good for good snipers if you are a very good sniper maybe this is something that you want to go for not for me <laughs> okay i always right especially we are playing on console you can see we tell everyone we do we we, we play our games on xbox xbox mainly so um mm won't be as accurate as pc players and so we will see i mean share with us if you're a good sniper or if you're not a good sniper will you use this module okay but also this one's in the cryogenic cluster shot this module this module 
will be affecting Haley greatly. Okay, so when you're using a firearm to attack an enemy inflicted with this cryogenic, deals additional AOE damage to nearby enemies, making this a useful skill module for clearing out common monsters. That's this is definitely one for me. Is you know when we're using Haley, although actually we don't really use in Haley unless you are um, doing close closer um closes, right? When you are dealing on unless we are dealing with the inter intercept battles, the boss fight. But but yeah, um if I'm if I'm going to have Haley for our daily operations, running through these missions, invasions, infiltrations, then I will definitely want to have this module because AOE is always something that's very useful in all these missions. And not to mention her this latest weapon that's released also at the same at the same time. This Ultimate Weapon, let's just talk about this right now. This Ultimate Weapon Frost Watcher, right? It's definitely for Haley. I don't know if we can use it for Versa. I need, we need to check. But this weapon, this weapon, it will grant, it will land critical hit on an enemy from beyond a certain distance, grant the cold surveillance effect. So meaning, uh, the the longer the distance it is, the higher you the the then you will give them this cold surveillance effect, right? And when you hit in the weak point of an enemy from beyond a certain distance, grants the sub zero sensation effect. So that's even better. So the further away, the better. So it's Haley's weapon, isn't it? Right, you only Haley will be on on Haley's move, the the last move, A four. On only she, you know, the the longer distance you have, then the greater damage you will deal on the enemy. Not to mention, not to mention the this one defeating an enemy grants a chill. Grants the chill synchronization effect, and while under this effect, the movement speed reduction due to Haley's cold fury effect is ignored. Okay, sorry, I'm not talking about um, cold villains reduce the enemy's chill resistance incrementally as it stacks, and so zero sensation increases your chill skill power. So. What I was going to say is because from the previous update notes, they're talking about um, the cryogenic effect will also be added to this weapon. Um, I don't think that changed. It's just not really mentioned here. Is um, on from this update note is focused more on the cold resistance. The chill skill power will be increased when they have this sub-zero sensation and this chill resistance basically the same thing so the when after you use this weapon it will increase your chill skill power so that will increase Haley's power right and then and then when you are using this weapon with this chill synchronization effect then the enemies Movement speed reduction due to Haley's co-fairfair is ignored. Okay, so let us know what you think about this weapon after you farm them. Of course, we all still need to farm for um this. This is the latest. Excuse me. This is the latest Ottoman weapon. Okay, this is the latest Ottoman weapon for Haley because I think from previous patch notes. If I remember correctly, when you are not a chill character and using this weapon, it will affect your movement speed. I'm sure I read it somewhere from the previous one, one of the previous notes. Okay, 
and of course we, we we should try because we never know if it's still going to be the same after it's released and but <clears throat> I, it, it doesn't really benefit other characters using this i don't think it may it may benefit versa a little bit again like i said we need to try it on versa and then we can really give this um, verdict but before that we can already say it is for Haley because it even says Haley's name um, everywhere on this weapon's description so this is this frost watcher and I'm sure like this is all of us will go to farm for it especially if you have Haley and you love Haley for your for your uh, for you to fight the 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 colossus okay and <clears throat> so so this is Haley's new module Haley's new module Haley's new weapon and they are also going to drop a lot more new modules for us in general for the characters okay um, so they are going to add new modules to increase the critical rate damage critical heat damage and the firearm critical rate damage okay they also they also add modules that enhance skill power firearm attack to diverse to diversify the selection of weapons and descendants with low critical rate and critical rate damage so so for characters or or, or weapons when you don't have great crit rate instead they will give them more like um how do you call it supplement on the skill power and firearm attack itself so hopefully like you will use the weapons more like i'm not sure what they really want you know you have all these different descendants with all this arc right our arc, arc skill powers for example like visa like volby like like um frena right i i your skill powers i thought it would be the most important thing instead of the weapons like when i'm doing versa um when i'm using versa i like using versa there she's great i will build her in a way like i don't really need to use her weapon much because i can do with the skills and so do you know what i mean like if i have great skill powers why do i need to use weapon of course if the weapon complement complement my skill power that'd be great like that's like what they say so i think what they really mean is um not 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 to increase how do you say it? what they mean is they hope the players will want to um, use other weapons because right now i think there are a few weapons that's greatly used by players like in our vote right we have i think most of us most of our ultimate weapons are actually being put in the storage we don't carry them around because we're just using what thunder cage secret garden it's like your these two are like your um go-to weapon you just be with you anywhere everywhere it's especially the secret garden right just enhance your your attack firearm attack your your attack power whoever you are doesn't matter which descendant you are so you definitely always carry in the this this secret garden sound the cage is just great with his electricity it's aoe attack and and then another weapon of your own choice but you know you can only carry three weapons in total so <laughs> so i think maybe that's why so they want you to use other ultimate weapon so they drop all these different modules for so we can use different weapons i think that's what they mean but 
yeah let let us know right share with us what you build what you build on how you build your 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 different ottoman weapons how do you build your the the final masterpiece the a lot of people are using the lens guard now you know um so so yeah how does it affect does it affect okay so this is this all the new modules that's going to be dropped um released after from today from today okay okay and then also this latest the whole new colossus colossus right okay death stalker finally the whole new the whole new colossus on the hard what? difficulty on the hard difficulty death stalker so what does that mean that means gluttony will be the difficulty of gluttony will be reduced okay the the difficulty of gluttony will be slightly reduced because that's what they want every time when there's a new hard difficulty um colossus release the previous most difficult one will be you know the difficulty of the previous end boss will be reduced so that that's what they want to do the developer really say it out that's the mechanism of this game so if you haven't been able to be gluttony to get your peacemaker you'd be happy right and then and then and then now we need to worry about how to beat death stalker okay so what is death stalker um when you beat death stalker you will get a blueprint for the ottoman weapon frost watcher okay you can also collect the distorted resolve set and the invader set okay uh okay so what is the distorted resolve set this is a new reactor i think okay two piece set effect increase firearm attack when using assault rifles or submachine guns Ooh, i just mentioned some the cage right four piece set effect increase toxic skill power for proportional to the amount of HP lost and recover shield each time you inflict a debuff on the enemy. So this is a reactor for Frenna. Successfully destroy the part of Colossus grant the the exalted exaltation effect. Exaltation effect. And while under this effect, your skills attacks fire projectile that deal additional toxic damage and apply the desolation effect to the Colossus. The desolation effect weaken all attack of the Colossus increment incrementally as it stacks. Okay. So, so this is a very, very good reactor set. So what is the invader set? The invader set. So when you have two piece, you will increase max shield. That's amazing. When you have four piece, defeating an enemy increase skill duration based on the number of stacks and also increase tech skill power modifier and dimension skill power modifier. So we thought we complete our Ajax build. <laughs> this may be something very good for our tanks. We all have we I, I think most of us are have at least one tanky descendant. If you want to build your descendant with with tank like tanky effect, invader set. So yes, so that's what they say. If you want to get the this okay let me remove the highlights when you if you want to receive this new reactor set set you need to beat the stalker which is fair enough 
a component set. Sorry, React component set. <clears throat> component set. So this is what we will get from from fighting that stalker, and this is very good reason for us to try to defeat that stalker. Okay, so now the the problem will be how we going to do it. <laughs> we will find out. We will find out. Okay. So last but not least, the infiltration operation four hundred percent. Finally, right? I mentioned the. I've been moaning the past few videos about. Uh, it's getting boring now. With this, like even invasion is is boring for us with our, with our bunnies with with actually now with a party built um me mechanism right it's actually pretty easy of course if you have good party if if your party they don't if they don't know what they're doing then it's still a little bit you may feel like you'd rather to do it by yourself <laughs> but most of the time it's reasonable easy to do the invasion and like we are just or myself at at least i'm just using the 250 infiltration operation for for level up right um just yesterday i would i just go into a 250 infiltration operation with my level one glade level one ultimate glade if i can try not to die i will be leveled up really quickly I think the rate is a uh, from one to twenty to twenty into two hundred fifty infiltration operations. Okay, and yeah, so so yeah, four hundred percent. That's definitely very good to know. And they add this four hundred percent in most of infiltration operations not all of them i don't know why but they are added to the 13 infiltration operations both in kingston both in sterling only the shelter on the v vespers both on the echo swamp both on the agna desert both on the white knight gulch and the heaven on the Hagways. yeah you don't want to do you don't want to do <laughs> 400% on all mastery the fortress quarantine zone okay a hard difficulty 400% score multiplier is available in dungeons where the invasion has occurred after clearing the invasion you can still use a 400% score multiplier until the next invasion refresh right so it's also equipped to invasion after clearing the invasion that means the twice per day right every day we can do two invasions we can still use the 400 percent score multiplier until the next invasion refresh i don't know what it means we will see <laughs> We will see after we can click into these buttons. Okay, so I don't know if it affect invasion or only the infiltration operation. Okay, the types of reward for the highest difficulty infiltration operations and those for the hard difficulty infiltration operations are essentially the same. I mean, you will get the same thing, the same battery, the same coil, foil. Okay, defeating commander, the named monsters, give additional standard ETA vouchers. As a completion reward, you will receive high precision exchange components. Okay, so these ETA vouchers is going to be a very important thing and going to be the main reason why people want to do the 400% infiltration operation and why people want to make sure that they are able to achieve that will be because this ETA zero. This new merchant is going to be, okay, we now know the location. The location will be on this here, right next to the, 
the waypoint. Okay. On the LBM, it will be from every Friday through Monday. Okay, not only Sunday now. Every Friday through Monday in LBM. Um, of course they give you the time, like from different time zone. So UTC, that's us. Um, well, that's everyone actually. I think that means UTC is zero. Seven a.m. Friday to seven p.m. Monday. Okay, so every Friday through Monday in Albion, we will be able to s find this ETA zero. This is a new merchant that you can use this standard ETA vouchers to purchase to purchase different things. And at the same time, you can purchase blueprints, you can purchase um, parts, I think you can purchase most of the things, okay? At the same time, you can sell, you can sell the blueprints, okay? And that's why you need to at least make sure you are at mastery rank 10, otherwise you cannot do it, you cannot sell your blueprints, okay? and. You can exchange infiltration operation reward, meaning we can purchase items from these ETA vouchers that we get from the 400% infiltration operation. Okay, we can exchange supplies, we can purchase various items with premium ETA vouchers, and premium ETA vouchers can be obtained by selling blueprints. So, okay, that's, that's how it works. When we sell blueprint, we will get premium ETA vouchers. So it's also a way that forces you to sell blueprints because I, well, that's normally what they do. If they don't do it this way, then that'll be very, then that will be not clever enough. Some parts can only be purchased by premium ETA vouchers. And when when most parts can be purchased by standard ETA vouchers, I think that'd be the only way that um then that would be the only reason why there are two different type of ETA vouchers because something can only purchase with these premium ETA vouchers. So that means you will want to sell your blueprints, and that means you want to farm blueprints. So that give you the reasons to continue to play the game. Okay, so that's, I think, I think that's how it's going to work. We will know if I'm right or wrong. Okay, so we can carry up to 600 vouchers on us. So you will need to use them. You cannot just, okay, I'm going to save it until you select our coins, um, tens of millions. No, we can only carry up to 600. And the vouchers will be found in our inventory and do not take up consum consum consumable slots. Okay. In our inventory, but not in our consumable slots. Okay. So, so this is this ETA0, the new merchant and the vouchers and the reason why we need to do the 400 infiltration operations. Hair dyeing, adding the feature that we can finally dye the hair. Finally, oh my god, I'm dying to dye the hair. <laughs> so they add 44 hair dyes to so we can dye the hair. Okay, I always dye my hair green. So now I really need to have my own character so I can dye my own character with green hair. And okay, so they also have new product, of course, always. So they will, we will be able to purchase this Ultimate Frena bundle and premium Ultimate Frena bundle. Okay, so um, at the same time, the developers are saying they accept the feedback from our descendants regarding the exclusive spawn effects and back attachments in the previous Ultimate bundles. In response to this feedback, we have made the spawn effect and back attachment in the new Ottoman Frena bundles available for universal use. Moving forward, we will apply the same principle to all spawn effects and back attachment in future release. Additionally, we are working on improving the exclusive spawn effects and back attachment from 
from the previous bundles to make them universal usable universally usable so that's just the technical side they need to work on once this update is complete all previously purchased spawn effects and back attachment will also become universally available thank you for your feedback okay again this is one thing that first descendants developers are very good at they react very quickly to the feedback we have right we have feedback about the invasion they react they didn't get it 100 percent but it's there okay <laughs> okay so the feedback about this this um these attachments right like yeah i spent so much money like real real money like we spent so much money to buy this ottoman or premium ottoman bundles and then how can why can we not use this spawn effect and back attachment on other descendants right so now they are going to make it available so which is very good okay so they also add new male skins pumpkin hunters female skin sweet whispers female skin albion detention center body set bunny skins gray skins okay i really want to well i like our gray already bunny I, i'm looking forward to see what it look like um ajax last bastion premium skin blair's blair skin oh my god I just found that I cannot make my Blair look like Ace anymore. Ace from One Piece. So whoever have done that, great. I need to keep my eyes out and check when when can we make our Blair look like the Ace from One Piece. But anyway, okay. They also have new Ottoman premium skin for Enzo. And the uh, Halloween makeup bundle ABC, back attachment, surprise pumpkin. We always like to um, collect all this pumpkin effect from all the games we play if they are available. From Dauntless to Ark, now to the first descendant. We definitely want to get these pumpkins, but we will see. Okay, because at the same time, I, we also feel don't feel like to spend a lot of money on these games <laughs> so we will see there's a new emote here is your cheat okay and then there's a new spray give me candy and i won't eat you okay so there are also updates on the album going to celebrate the halloween with us so we can see this new decor on the album so we can all feel the halloween vibe okay from the update on thursday 10th uh, to the wednesday 30th of october we will have this halloween themed emote each week by logging into the game okay so every if you log into the game weekly you will receive a new halloween themed emote free right free of charge okay for more details, please refer to the Halloween login event notice, which will be released after the maintenance. So there's another patch um, event notice after the maintenance. Okay, so content improvement. So they added a recruit tab to the chat. So now we can post on the chat, not world chat anymore because it's just too crazy on the world chat right now so this chat allow people to recruit party or apply for party okay so that's when you can shout out i'm going to farm gluttony i'm going to farm the death walk death stalker i need bunny i need volby i need glay i don't want i don't want her i don't okay so that's what you can do on the recruit tab change the immunity gimmick for some named monsters from destroying spheres to destroying summoned object okay so when we destroy all the summoned things toxic explosive 
deterrents and cones, then it will also remove its immunity. That's interesting. That's going to be very helpful. We can only show that after we start playing, after the maintenance. The Colossi no longer stray too far out of the battlefield during intercept battles. Yeah, because some of them are very, very like ridiculous in the intercept battles. Added additional makeshift camps to the shipment base, the hatchery, and the mountain mountain tops in the White Night Gulch. Okay, so we can spawn to some place easier. Okay, change the location of the void fusion reactor in the hatchery in the White Night Gulch. Okay, change the condition for returning to camp after aborted missions. Two aborted missions to four aborted missions. Okay. Infiltration operations now reward additional firearm proficiency X XP. Okay, so now when you're doing infiltration operations, in general you have you will get more XP than before. Okay, so even when you when we are not in the event, so they'll be very good for you when you do firearm XP. We do infiltration anyway if you have time. To play then you do 250 percent or even now you can do 400 percent some infiltration operations now reward more descendant xp not all of them for some reason um, for slumber valley for the sepulcher sepulcher seat vote caligo ossuary mysteries and the heaven old mystery quarantine zone heart of the fortress Okay, then you will, that's where you, your descendant can get more XP. So that's your go-to place for leveling up your descendant. Okay, fix the final main quest to reward level 100 firearms, reactors, and enhancement materials. Players now revive with 100% shield from, from this waiting to revive state. <clears throat> That's a lot better. <laughs> Players now have three seconds to cancel the start of a private operation in intercept battles, infiltration operations, special operations, and invasion immediately after it started. Why? <laughs> Why? So meaning. Okay, yeah, I can understand for private operation. I'm not. Is that? I'm not sure. Does that mean only on private operations or in party as well? Because if it's in party operation, right? People are doing that already, which is very annoying. They come into party. We saw. Oh, great! We have four of them, and then people just drop off. Mm, yeah. Anyway, now we have the three seconds to cancel the start. Now we have the three seconds t room. We can cancel this. This. We can cancel this immediately after it starts. Um, I think I can understand if it means the private operations in all of these. Okay, maybe maybe just my English. Yes, in if I go into. Intercept battle, infiltration operations, special operations, invasions in private. Because sometimes, sometimes we're searching for parties and then we'll wait after so many seconds, then they, they let us in and then we realize, oh, it's only by ourselves. Then we can, we can say, okay, we want to start. Okay, then that makes sense. And thank you for going through that with me. <laughs> Added a restart button to HOT to enable an immediate restart after the end of intercept battles, infiltration operations, and special operations. This button is located below the Move to Albion button, which is very helpful as well. 
which is very helpful as well. Okay, deleted the underused 150% in infiltration operations. So yeah, no one's doing 150%. You have 100% that's a normal. You used to have 150 and you have 250. I think people just doing normal or 250. So they removed, they removed the 150 and then add this 400%. Okay, some change to the descendants. So they change the missions that drop Frenna stabilizers. So when Frenna uses a skill to inflict room zero trauma, she now also inflict toxic reactions, panic, desperate, decay, or nightmare, depending on the skill used, which was shared in the previous um, note. In the previous note, if you want to understand the details. I think I shared that in our last video or the one before when we talking about Frenna, the latest update, uh, 1.1.3. I, I talk about this in detail. And the plague body effect. The plague body armor effect granted by Frenna skill defense mechanism and toxic stimulation is now renewed when the skill are used again. Improved Kyle's repulsion dash and collision instinct skills to heat environmental objects such as gas such as gas cylinders. Esmo can now use the time bomb skills while shooting a firearm or using other skills. Okay, so she Esmo can do several things at the same time. Okay, so that's that's great. Um the UI the location of quest NPCs now displayed during some quest. Fix the maximum target score for each infiltration operation to be always displayed in the right UI. Invasion Dungeon Info now displays the text. <gasps> Improved Invasion Dungeon Info now displayed the text minimum acquired in the number of rewards for the main reward. So you will know what's at least what you will get on the worst case scenario okay so that's now you will know what you will get guarantee what you will get 100 percent improve the research list to show the enhancement level information for unique abilities of owned weapons in weapon research improve the research list to display the owned indicator in lower level research as well as in descendant research. Improve the research list to show whether the research result exists and how many. And also they add reactors to the hard difficulty field on the map, allowing us to obtain them when we need. So when we obtain a reactor, not as rotation reward in hard difficulty missions, outposts, or fusion reactors, we will acquire reactor with specific attributes based on each battlefield. Okay, so if we want non non attribute X tech, we go to Kingston Grand Square, Echo Swamp, Abandoned Zone. If we want non attribute X fusion, so that's where you go. So we have a list we can check. Okay, what we want. We want toxic, we go this. We want electric, we go there. We want chill, we can go these places. So we have this list we can use. Rolly Polly and King's Fisher summoned by Colossi in intercept battles now use melee attacks less frankly. Frequent, less frequently okay which of course is going to be a lot better for most of us for all of us <laughs> um, so the attack is less frequently lower the difficulty of gluttony so they will reduce gluttony's HP and her and the attack 
Impurity now reduces the wipe attack gauge further. Reduce the speed at which the wipe attack gauge fills up. Remove the ice effect inflicted when the impurity explodes. So there's no more ice effect. And also, they will increase the expansion limit of equipment inventory and storage slots by 200. Previously, it's expandable to 1000. Now you can expand them to 1200. Maybe with money, cash, I'm not sure. But if you want to, <clears throat> with the means, Maximally, you can have 1,200 storage slots. Change the image for Valby's Bubble Boogie Spray, Haley Sniper Spray, map image of Echo Swarm, the descendant menu visuals for Valby and Ultimate Valby, and some emote icons have been updated. Okay. <clears throat> so that's some new update so they also fixed some bugs they also fixed the box for some content they fixed the box of some descendants okay they also fix equipment and modules some uis and some other things okay so because they are bot fix, so I'm not going to go through every single one of them. You can find them from the first descendant um, site. But if you do want me to read them out for you, please let me know. I'll be happily do that for you. Okay. I will try to use this voice and do that for you if you need this to be read out. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So this is the update that's going to happen in right now we are on the timer um it's now 7 40 uk time will be okay that something just happened right now anyway the maintenance will be ended 1 p.m uk time updates to the ottoman freenas materials have been revised Okay. Is that the same thing that I just read? <laughs> added the v A B added the A B variant of these patterns. You can acquire Ottoman Frenas enhanced cell blueprint stabilizer blueprint and code. That's what I was asking, right? I was saying, oh how can we get the code or blueprints? So <laughs> So if you read with if you're here with me from the beginning to the end, then then you can see that now. They just updated while we are recording this video. So now with these patterns, not the original one, we can no longer get these original ones, but we can get this A B variant patterns. And then they will, after we have these patterns, then we can go to farm. Ottoman Freyna's Enhanced Cells Blueprint, Stabilizer Blueprint, Spiral Catalyst Blueprint, and her code. Okay, four of them. Don't need to panic. <laughs> that's great. That's why I say that's one thing that's done very, very, very good by the First Descendant team is that their team are listening and i think i believe they have great um supporting um doing all the testing so they can give them the feedback immediately okay so that's me now and um, um i hope i will be able to upload this very very soon and then you can find you know go through this with me just before the the maintenance finished and then we are prepared and then we can do this okay that's great um i will see you very soon please 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 like us video subscribe you know i want to be i need to be um having 250 subscribers 
then I can apply to become the creator for the first descendant and I don't know if then I would get um, the, this note faster than others I feel maybe not okay um, but but anyway I, I would like to to have that creators for the first descendants and then maybe hopefully in the future we can share even you know faster information more accurate information with you all and please also bear in mind this is the update one we already have update one on this 1.1.4 update for the first descendant so i don't know if there's going to be update two or three by the time you watched this video just want to do that disclaimer first and do let me know if this update i need to we, we we need to rectify but yeah thank you very much for listening to us for choosing us um please share with me your feedback how we do and everything i'm really looking forward to this new new content and yeah i will see you very soon Put you in the driver's seat Don't cut a hurry